Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic, the risk response strategies. Uh, friend, this is a very important topic with respect to project management. Uh, if you are studying project management in university or you are planning to give exam of PMP, so friend, this is a very important topic and uh, you will see this topic in the exam. At least 10 to 15 questions will definitely be there which are directly related to risk or uh, risk response strategies. So friend, uh, you must have to understand the concept of uh, risk response strategies so that you can uh, have a good score in the exam. Secondly friend, if you, are, um, if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a professional project manager, so this is necessary that you must have to understand what is risk, what is response strategies and how we can use it. So friend, let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's just start. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and I hope uh, inshallah you will like this video. So uh, let's just start. First of all, risk response strategies. Friend, this is a topic which is directly related to project management. So friend, first of all, we have to understand the concept of a project. Friend, project is a temporary activity which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output of product that is called as project for example if you are implementing an e-commerce solution for a customer so uh, and you have to complete that project in four months so we will say that it is a project why because it is temporary after four months the project will finish no one will work on uh, resources will be released and uh, no more expenses on the project so project is a temporary activity which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output of product so that will called as a project now uh, risk friend what is a risk risk is the uh, is the uncertain condition of a project for which you are not sure whether it will happen or not happen for example friend if uh, uh, if just take an example that uh, you are launching a marketing campaign for uh, a for ABC customer and you have hired a new model or new face for your uh, marketing campaign and you are not sure whether people will like your uh, model or not people will like the new face or not so there is uncertainty uncertainty means that you are not sure whether will happen or not happen okay due to uncertainty we will say that it is a risk okay if it happen positively it will boost your project if people like the new model it will the risk will occur po positively and it will give a boost to your marketing campaign it will have a positive impact if people don't like the new model or new face so it will have a negative impact on your marketing campaign and it will negatively impact your project so we will say that it will uh, it will become an issue so friend risk first of all try to understand the risk risk is the uncertain condition of a project for which you are not sure whether it will happen or not happen if it happen positively it will become an opportunity if it happen negatively it will become an issue for you so right now uh, we are talking about risk which has a negative impact on the project remember friend one thing that it is not necessary that risk always have a negative impact the risk can have a positive impact as well as for the definition of PMBOK so friend right now in this tutorial or in this video we will talk about the risk which has a which we may have a negative impact on the project now if you can understand the concept of a risk now we can about talk about a risk response strategies. Risk response strategies means that right now we are talking about negative risk and how we will respond, what we will do if that risk occur. Okay, so right now we are talking about response strategies for risk. Like if that particular risk occur, so what we will do in that scenario. So it is important for you to manage risk proactively to finish your project with minimal obstruction to do so you must start identify risk at the beginning of the project and develop strategies to manage them friend risk response strategies may have two type categories one is for positive risk and one for negative risk positive negative means friend 
if it has a risk has a positive impact on the project it will become an opportunity if it has a negative impact on the project it will have it will become a uh, issue for you right now we are talking about response strategies that what a strategy we will adopt how we will respond to the risk if it will occur okay what are the negative uh, risk uh, friend for to handle the negative uh, risk we have following five strategies avoid mitigate transfer escalate accept we will see uh, these strategies one by one in detail first of all avoid avoid means friend just if you just see the definition just see the term avoid avoid means that you avoid that risk avoidance means friend that if for example if you have a privilege if you have the facility that you can change make change in the schedule in the cost and it is acceptable for uh, for the team for the management so you can avoid that particular risk avoid means friend just take it as a in a general sense avoid means that you avoid that risk just to avoid avoid means that you make some changes in the schedule in the cost in the resources so that you can avoid that particular risk taking example for example you know that elections are uh, coming in the next month and uh, just take it as an example that you know that uh, during the uh, elections there are chances that uh, the law and order situation can be uh, volatile or can be bad so do you considering these factors you just avoid the risk in that manner that you are taking uh, consensus with the team and with the management and customer and you change the uh, you change the schedule for one week okay so one week uh, you change the schedule that uh, uh, you increase the schedule for one week so that uh, due to that in that kind of scenario you can avoid that risk so it is an example of avoidance of risk now mitigate mitigate means friend that um, for example probability of the risk occurring or its impact like you mitigate the risk uh, mitigation means that you mitigation you uh, you try to uh, uh, try to decrease the chances of occurrence of an event cha of a risk for example you started a new project of e-commerce solution and you know that your team is not capable enough on that particular technology so you arranged a training for a team arranged the training for the team on that particular uh, technology so that after having the training team will be capable enough to handle that technology and they can work on that particular technology so mitigation means that you decrease the chances of occurrence char decrease of likelihood or chances of occurrence so that it will be called as mitigation now friend transfer transfer is another approach in which what you do that you uh, take action to make another party responsible for the risk transfer means friend that you uh, give responsibility to another stakeholder another party and you transfer just uh, see this term transfer transfer means that you give responsibility to another party what does it mean for example outsource the part of a project for example you are implementing an e-commerce solution which has two parts for example one is the software part and one is the pause related part just take an example and you know that uh, uh, you don't have expertise in the pause development so you give the uh, part uh, of pause to outsource a part to another party so that is called an example of transfer another example is that for example you have uh, purchased a car and you know that there are uh, car thieves are there in your uh, in your city so you uh, take the, you buy the insurance of the of the car or a property uh, so in that way you transfer the risk to someone else uh, for example if any issue occurs so you will talk to the third party or the second party uh, escalate means friend for example you are working uh, uh, you are you are basically uh, there are some limitation in your authority you know that uh, there is risk is coming and due to your authority limitation you can't take any action so you escalate the matter to your senior management or PMO head so that they can handle it so that is called as escalation escalation means friend for example just take an example for example the government is planning or regulation and it is approved it could impact your project so in that way you know that as per your authority you can't take any action 
so you will escalate the matter to your CEO or head of project management so that they can handle it so escalation means friend there if there is any limitation in your authority in your action so you escalate the matter to the senior management or head of project management except means friend uh, remember, remember friend one thing when whenever we talk about accept accept means that take no action accept acknowledgement and you accept it like acceptance means friend you take uh, you accept the risk and you don't take any action for example uh, you uh, you are constructing a building and you know uh, that uh, that the building structure can bear uh, the earthquake up to six uh, six scale however if there is any uh, earthquake came which is greater than six scale so uh, your building can have a issue so you accept that risk because you know that in that particular area uh, no um, no earthquake came uh, till now which has uh, which is having the scale above then the six so you accept the risk and you accept the risk that if any uh, issue if if any earthquake came above then six so it you accept that risk accordingly so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side